guys welcome back to another video so it feels like it's been absolutely forever since i've sat down and filmed a video which it kind of has i haven't posted a video in nearly two weeks i think because it's been the half term i've been working flat out so i've been doing like 12 hour days working like at my holiday camp during the day and then going to my normal job coaching on the evenings and then over the bank holiday i actually went to ibiza so i haven't had a minute to sit down and actually film a video and i'm so excited to get back into it because after today this is friday so it's the last day of the half term so after today i'm back to like a normal working schedule and i actually finish my job next week so i say i'm back to a normal working schedule and then i finish my job so yeah i've got a week left at work i finish next saturday which is so exciting and then i'll still be working like a few hours here and there at a different place so i'll still be doing some bits but i thought I want to just be on the countdown to camp. I really just want to be ready and get myself sorted and be able to go and do stuff before I go away. So my mum and dad actually live up in Leeds. So obviously normally when I work six days a week, I can't really go up and see them. So I thought I'd rather finish my job a little bit earlier and have a little bit of time to go and actually do stuff, go away, go out for the weekend, go and do other things. So that's why I'm finishing work next week. And then I'll literally, honestly, the countdown will be on. I think when I finish, I've got then like five and a half weeks until I'll fly. I'll talk about my flying scenario at the end of this video actually because that's a whole other section but the point of this video is actually going to be very short and sweet it's not going to be anything detailed it's just going to let you know that I've actually released my summer camp guidebook and this has been so much fun to make and I'll insert some photos of like what the cover and stuff looks like just so you can get a little bit of an idea and then I'm just going to talk through what's included in it now I actually got the idea to make something like this when a girl messaged me and she said oh I love your videos they're amazing I really like all your content but I really struggle to stay engaged in like lengthy videos like, and she said I'd love to have all this information written down in one place and it got me thinking I was like I wouldn't be able to sit through my videos and stay focused and actually listen to everything I'm saying because I ramble a lot and they are long don't get me wrong I know some people really enjoy that they like listening to people just go on about anything and they just find that quite interesting yeah so I got thinking I was like why don't I put all the information that I have and that I know about camp into a pdf guide and create one and then sell it for you guys it is quite lengthy don't get me wrong i think it's i think it ended up being 31 or 32 pages long and i go about i go into detail about a lot of stuff and don't get me wrong a lot of this information i do share on my youtube anyway but this is more for people like i say like me if you want to actually read something you want to have a physical thing and it's easy to go and find all that information instead of having if you realize oh i want to know the answer to that question i asked in one of my videos three months ago it'll be easy to find that information so that's why i've done this really just for the ease of everything and making it so much easier for you to find out the information that you need so there's a lot of different sections within it i'm not gonna lie my first section i just talk about my summer camp experience just kind of write about how i ended up at the camp i did my first initial experience getting to camp and all of that and then i go on to like the application and i start from like the very start so this is actually so funny so my my guidebook was originally called camp america guidebook and camp america actually reached out to me because they saw that i posted it on my instagram and they said oh we love this idea i think it's brilliant but you can't actually use the words or the phrase camp america for commercial profit and i was like mm, i hadn't really thought of that to be fair because and my mom made a very valid point because there are camps in america like camp america doesn't just mean them that's the program i've always known camp america as the program not necessarily the agency but i did understand where they were coming from they own the copyright to it so i couldn't use it so that's why i ended up calling it summer camp in america which isn't as catchy but you guys get the idea you know what it's about anyway because you've come from my youtube or you've come from knowing that i go to camp so yeah ha this was literally within maybe the six hours before i actually uploaded it and had it ready to buy and i was like right i've got to change this gotta change this and then it got me thinking if there's certain copyrights to certain agencies it's like maybe because i had a, i had an agency section as the first section because obviously that's the first thing you need to think about when you go in to do camp america you need to know what agency you want to go with what prices all of that and my first section was just a breakdown of i think maybe six or seven agencies and i literally just listed whatever was on their website and talked about prices talked about how much you could earn for the summer additional costs if they did flight packages and i had this whole section and then i thought well if camp america reached out and said that the phrase camp america is copyrighted chances are information from websites might be and i know i was probably thinking too much into it and i got to a point where i was like i don't want to risk putting it out there and then having something retracted because there was information from a website on it even though this information is stuff you can go and find on the websites anyway so i did end up changing that whole section and i just kind of put i've done an agency video which i'll leave linked down below so the information is all there and apparently you're allowed to use 
everything on social media just not for commercial profit like in in a book or something like that so yeah i ended up changing that so the agency section isn't what it actually was before just kind of put a list of different agencies you can use because like i say a lot of people don't know about other agencies i before i looked into it i didn't know there was any other agencies other than camp america so hopefully that section just gives you an idea of different agencies you can use other than Camp America, just an idea. And then you can obviously just Google those and find out that information anyway, which is a shame because I wanted to have all the information in one place. And if I'd have given myself a bit longer, I probably would have been able to reach out to those agencies and email them and say, oh, look, I've just created this. Are you happy for me to include this information in this section? And it probably would have been fine, but I was just overthinking it. And I thought, right, I don't even want to do that, especially not for this very first thing I'm doing with selling a guidebook. I was like, I don't want to risk anything going wrong with it. So yeah, after my agency section, I then go on to talk about the application, the process, give you like some tips about interviews and stuff like that. I've actually got a lot of tips in there as well from Hayley, one of the head staff at my camp. And I actually sent her a copy of my guidebook before I released it, just to let her get her to have a little read through and see if there's anything I needed to add. And honestly, I'm so glad I did because she gave me so many good tips and just told me to change certain things that sounded so much better after I did. So yeah, there's a lot of tips from there which are obviously going to be really handy because it's nice to hear some things from someone that works at a camp in America as in head staff and they sort all of the hiring process, the interview process. So it was nice to have some things included in there from her just to give you a bit of an insight on kind of what they're looking for when hiring staff. I also talk about the whole visa process, how it is applying, how it is actually going to the embassy, kind of like what documents you might need. And I've also got a whole section on like booking your flights, where's that good websites to look, even though I know a lot of people will have already booked their flights for this summer and uh, this is going to come in really handy for like years to come for people that just are interested in Camp America but don't really know where to start that's all I really wanted this to be was just kind of like a helping hand and like a point of information where everything was in one place and it just makes everything so much easier because that's the only reason I really started doing these videos and because when I posted my very first one I got so many questions about it so I thought this is going to be really helpful. I'm going to be able to help a lot of people with any queries, any like worries they have, just any questions in general. And that's just why I've done this whole thing. I also have a very extensive packing list. Is extensive the right word? I feel like it is very detailed, shall we say. So yeah, within my packing section, I've got like a full packing list and this is very detailed and this is going to be quite, it's going to be different for everyone. Don't get me wrong, because this is tailored to me this is obviously what i take to camp and what i'm going to take this year this is the packing list that i'm going to use this summer obviously certain things will apply differently to certain people obviously your camps might have asked you to bring certain things i had someone actually post in my facebook group chat that their camper told them they couldn't take crocs or any kind of like open toe shoes which we're not supposed to wear ours every like day to day at camp unless you go into like the pool and stuff but you definitely need things like that for days off but Again, certain camps don't allow certain things. Certain camps tell you to bring certain things. So it is going to be slightly different for everyone. So yeah, this is just a guide and it's just going to be quite good because I've put the whole packing list on one separate page, like in this document. So if what I'm going to do anyway is just print off that page and then use it as an actual checklist to tick things off as a go. And I haven't actually put quantities of anything because you know me, I'm the worst person to give amounts for anything because as soon as you mention bikinis, I'm like, yeah, I'll take 20. And that's not very reasonable. So I haven't booked quantities, but at least you can print it off and you can tick it off as you go. I was also thinking actually of listing my packing list as a separate thing to sell on my selfie shop. I haven't actually spoke about where you can actually buy this, but I will get there, I promise. But I'm just thinking if some people just want a packing list, they don't necessarily need the whole guidebook to just list the packing list as something to buy on its own. This is the same packing list that's in the guide. So if you wanted to buy the guide, it would be in there anyway. But just in case someone's like, right, I just want to know what I can pack. I just want to buy that. So let me know down below if that's something you'd like me to list just that separately. So you don't, maybe if you don't want to buy the whole guidebook. So yeah, Lots of different sections in this packing list. I also talk about orientation, what to expect when you get to camp, what to expect when the campers get there. I've got like a whole Q&A section at the end, some like helpful tips and tricks section. And to finish off, I've got like a My Summer in Pictures, which is just over a couple of pages. And it's just a load of photos from my time at camp, which I thought was a nice little touch just for people to have a little look at. I do include a lot of photos throughout my videos anyway, but it's just nice to see them all in one place. Really cute little end to my guidebook actually. So yeah, I just kind of wanted to give you a little rundown of what was included in it because I've like List it. Like I've posted it on my story and in my Facebook group, but I haven't really given much detail on it. I wanted to wait until I could sit down and actually film a video and just let you know what was in it, what it was all about and how you can go about buying it. So I actually had such a faff trying to sort selling this. I originally wanted to put it on like an Etsy store and then 
Etsy was going to take quite a lot in tax, like added VAT. So it's going to make it a lot more expensive for you guys. Then I looked at selling it on eBay and I'm the type of person that if I read too much into something and I realise I can't do it the way I wanted to, I have to do it a certain way. And that certain way isn't going to make much sense. But I convinced myself I can't do it the other way because I'm going to get into trouble with it. Is anyone else like that or is it just me? But yeah, so I listed it on eBay. But to sell PDFs on eBay, you have to list it as a classified ad, which then means when someone comes to buy it, they can't just buy it straight away. They have to contact you first and then you send a price over. So it's going to be such a faff and I just I couldn't deal with it. And it was going to be such a long process for me and for you guys to actually buy it. So I actually asked on my Instagram, how do I go about selling a PDF? What, what's the easiest way? And a load of people recommended selfie. I think that's how you say it. I'll leave what it says down below. Is it you just self sell fy selfie i'm sure that's what it's supposed to be and this is such a good website i've not even i have heard of them but i haven't used them and all you do is you like create a listing and then add the link to your pdf and they then do all the work for you so if i'd have gone through ebay every time someone purchased i'd have had to physically email them the document myself which would have been fine but it would have taken quite a bit of time and with selfie as soon as you buy you get an email straight away and they just send the pdf link that i've already uploaded and you get it like that and it was just so much easier and as soon as i, I did that i think i released it two days ago now and i think i've sold like 32 copies which is amazing so yeah that's the best way for you to buy it was well, the only way for you to buy it if you don't or you have any problems with it just drop me a message. I've had a few people message me and say, oh, is there another way I can buy? But it's managed to sort itself out anyway. Yeah, then I came on to the trouble of pricing. I didn't know what to price this at at all. I didn't want to price it as being expensive because I want, again, I want this to help you. I don't want, I don't want it to be ridiculously expensive. So I kind of asked on my Instagram, actually, I asked on one of my YouTube videos first and just kind of said, what would you guys pay for something like this? And a lot of people said, upwards of like 15 to 20 pound which was a lot more than i ever wanted to put it on for anyway and then i did an instagram poll where i just kind of like wanted to get an idea and i think i did the votes between like 7.99 and 11.99 and then 11.99 to 15.99 and a lot of people were obviously after the 7.99 to 11.99 one and that's what i wanted to list it for anyway to be honest the only reason i added the higher price is because Haley actually mess emailed me she's like when she read it she's like this is gold she's like there's a lot of really good stuff in here she's like, i think you need to be pricing it at high, uh, like a higher price and i did think about that because like i said the information is there and it's taken me a long time to make this don't get me wrong but like i say i didn't want to make it expensive because i just kept thinking what would i pay for something like this and so i've actually listed it at 8.99 which for what you get in there i think is absolutely amazing so yeah this is something that i'm so proud of i'm so proud of myself for just making it and putting it out there and i just think it looks really nice it looks i'll insert some of the reviews actually because like i say when i posted it on my facebook group a few people that had already bought it just put in their like opinions on it so far so i'll add some of the reviews so you can have a little look at what other people think after they've already bought it yeah i'm just really excited for you guys to read through it if you do decide to buy it and i will leave the link to it down below yeah i do just really hope it helps you out and like i say it's kind of like my youtube channel condensed into a pdf file which is actually really nice that i've managed to just take a lot of that information and put it into an actual document for you to read through i'm literally the type of person i would always rather read something than watch something i struggle to stay engaged and like i say my packing video is like 47 minutes long now my actual packing video is going to be much longer than that but that's besides the point i am actually going to film a packing video within the next two weeks i've decided because i've come back from ibiza i am going to italy next month but a lot of the stuff i take to italy i probably wouldn't take to camp saying that i probably would that's a lie but no i've got all my stuff still packed from coming back off this holiday so i thought while it's packed i'm going to sort it all out and film a packing video whether that's like a pre-official packing video i haven't decided i think it'll just depend on if i buy anything else before camp but i know a lot of people are asking for a packing video and i really want to deliver on that because i know it's going to help a lot of you out just seeing the physical things what i take how much of everything i'm going to take so yeah i think i might do an initial one and then like I say, depending on how much I then buy before camp, may do like a final one within like the few weeks before I leave. I have actually decided that I'm going to go to Paris before I fly to New York, which is just really fun. So I was actually looking at booking my flights and the flight prices have gone up so much to fly from London to New York. So I actually had a, one of the girls that's coming to my camp message me and she said, oh, like me and my boyfriend actually looked at, we booked our flight from Paris. She's like, it was so much cheaper. And I was like, oh, so I hadn't even thought of thinking 
to go through somewhere like go through a different country actually my best friend Ailey who was my camp best friend she's moving to Paris at the start of June she's been offered an amazing job she was supposed to come to camp this year but this job is just too good to pass up so she's going to be moving to Paris so she's got going to have her own little apartment so I've said well look if I fly out to you I can stay with you for a few days and then from there I can fly to New York the only thing I'm going to I've just realized I'm going to have to look into is obviously sorting Covid tests in Paris for New York because at the moment to get into America I'm pretty sure you still need to test so that's gonna be something I just have to look into but yeah I've decided I'm gonna fly to Paris because flights from Paris to New York were about £180 and I was looking like three four hundred pounds to fly to New York from London so this way I think I won't book a return as well because I obviously wouldn't really come back to Paris and the flights in September are really quite cheap to come home anyway so yeah nice little side note for you I always get distracted and do this so yeah I'm gonna round off the video here because I didn't want this to be long and it's been 20 minutes already so yeah I hope that's given a bit of insight on what my guidebook is actually about and you can kind of understand what's gonna be included before you buy it I'll again like I said I'll leave the link so you can have a little look but yeah please let me know if you have bought it or you do buy it let me know what you think because I really want some honest opinions on this because if it's something that either needs tweaking or there's things missing or things that you think don't make sense i really want to know because obviously i can alter it and i want to make this as helpful for you guys so it's your opinions that matter so yeah thank you very much for watching guys and i'll see you in the next video